The J20AS, sometimes designated as the J20S in external analyses, is the two-seat evolution of the J20 stealth fighter developed by Chengdu Aerospace Corporation. It stands out globally as the first known fifth-generation stealth fighter to feature a two-seat cockpit configuration, a deviation from the established trend in modern stealth aircraft design. As of August 2025, the J-20AS has been confirmed by consistent and credible sources to have entered service with the People's Liberation Army Air Force. This operational induction marks a critical milestone for the program, both technically and symbolically, but its actual capabilities, development path, and strategic messaging still invite critical assessment. The configuration of the J-20AS incorporates a tandem seating layout with two crew members housed under a newly designed extended canopy. The second seat is not included for training purposes, which was the traditional role in older dual-seat fighter variants. Instead, it serves a dedicated mission management function. The second crew member is responsible for operating advanced systems, managing mission data, controlling electronic warfare tools, and potentially commanding unmanned systems from within the cockpit. The redesign required significant airframe modifications, including a lengthened forward fuselage, repositioned internal components, and probable shifts in the aircraft's center of gravity and structural integrity. All of these changes had to be made while preserving stealth characteristics, a non-trivial engineering challenge, given the known radar signature implications of canards, diverterless inlets, and now a larger canopy and additional surface area. In terms of propulsion, available data indicates that the J-20AS is currently flying with the WS-10C engine. This is a domestically produced power plant derived from earlier iterations of the WS-10 series. While improvements in reliability and performance have been reported over the years, the WS-10C still does not provide the performance levels originally envisioned for the J-20 platform. The long-delayed WS-15 engine, which is supposed to provide a higher thrust-to-weight ratio, supercruise capability, and enhanced fuel efficiency, has reportedly begun entering limited production and is gradually being integrated into single-seat J-20A variants. However, there is no evidence that this newer engine has been adapted for the J-20AS as of yet. If the twin-seat version continues to rely on the WS-10C, it is likely operating at less than its full aerodynamic and performance potential, especially given the added weight and system demands of the second crew station. The avionics systems onboard the J-20AS have reportedly been upgraded to support its broader operational roles. This includes enhanced cockpit displays, sensor fusion technologies, and more advanced data processing capabilities. One of the more notable features is the upgraded electro-optical targeting system, positioned under the nose of the aircraft, which shares conceptual similarity with Western counterparts. This sensor is designed to passively detect and track airborne and ground-based targets by using infrared emissions. While this system adds to the J-20AS's survivability and engagement range in low-emission scenarios, independent validation of its resolution, reliability, and integration with other onboard systems remains limited. China does not publish detailed performance metrics, and access to actual test data is tightly controlled. The broader strategic purpose of the J-20AS appears to align with China's growing interest in multi-domain operational integration. As warfare moves toward increasingly complex and information-dense battle environments, there is a recognized need for platforms capable of not just flying missions but coordinating them in real time. In theory, the J-20AS is designed to function as a battlefield command node, absorbing sensor data from multiple sources, interpreting it through onboard processors and human judgment, and directing operations involving both manned and unmanned systems. This includes the potential for real-time communications with other aircraft, ground-based units, and unmanned aerial systems, all functioning within a centralized or semi-autonomous network. However, while China has emphasized the importance of this role in state-supported publications, there is no evidence from real-world exercises, public demonstrations, or externally observed operational deployments that the J-20AS has successfully performed these roles in complex combat scenarios. For example, no known joint drills have shown the J-20AS actively managing drone swarms or conducting coordinated electronic warfare campaigns. No open-source data confirms real-time command of unmanned systems from the rear cockpit under contested or degraded communication conditions. Instead, most of the publicly available material, including statements in media and controlled footage, showcase the aircraft in formation flights, taxiing, or test patterns rather than operationally complex missions. This lack of visibility into real performance is compounded by China's approach to strategic communication. 
All information related to the J20AS is presented through highly controlled channels. The release of technical details is sparse and carefully curated, often emphasizing symbolism and narrative over empirical substance. Terms like world's first twin-seat stealth fighter are repeated across media platforms, bolstering national prestige and reinforcing the notion of technological self-sufficiency. But beneath these statements, many key questions remain unanswered. These include the actual level of autonomy enabled in mission systems, the robustness of battlefield data links in electronic warfare environments, and the practical endurance and reliability of onboard mission hardware over extended operations. The emphasis on symbolic presentation is a consistent pattern. The J-20AS is often showcased during national celebrations, military anniversaries, or parades, events designed for maximum visual and political impact. These displays serve the purpose of internal audience reassurance and external deterrence. However, such exposure rarely correlates with transparent reporting or technical breakdowns. The aircraft's actual readiness for sustained operations in peer conflict scenarios has not been tested in any publicly documented engagement, nor has it participated in international air exercises where comparison against foreign platforms could occur. The adoption of the twin-seat layout also raises questions about stealth effectiveness. While the aircraft retains most of the low observable features of the original J-20, such as its chine fuselage, internal weapon bays, and canted tailfins, the structural modifications made to accommodate the second seat likely increase its radar cross-section. Canards, while offering maneuverability benefits, are generally considered to reduce stealth performance, especially when compared to flying wing or blended body designs. The enlarged canopy and extended fuselage may create additional reflective surfaces. Without access to radar signature models or verified test data, it is not possible to quantify the impact of these design compromises, but it is reasonable to conclude that the second seat introduces trade-offs that may reduce the platform's effectiveness in the most stealth-sensitive scenarios. Another point worth considering is the impact on maintenance, logistics, and pilot training. Operating a two-seat fifth-generation fighter requires the development of dual-crew tactics, role-specific training pipelines, and operational procedures that differ significantly from traditional single-pilot configurations. It is not clear whether China's current air force structure has fully adapted to these requirements. Developing effective coordination between pilot and mission systems officer in high-speed, high-threat environments requires not just hardware but deep doctrinal and cultural adaptation within the air force. If these systems are not mature, the second seat risks becoming underutilized or even a liability in complex missions. The J-20AS has been inducted into operational service and is being presented as a leap forward in combat aviation design. It integrates new roles such as network coordination, information warfare, and potentially drone command into a stealth airframe. The decision to pursue a twin-seat configuration is unconventional for fifth-generation designs and reflects an ambition to push mission complexity and flexibility beyond what single-seat jets can typically manage. However, many of its capabilities remain unproven in public or independently verified contexts. The platform has not been observed in demanding operational scenarios, and many of its supposed functions are still in the theoretical or experimental phase. The use of state-controlled communication channels, Selective public demonstrations, and symbolic framing complicate independent analysis. While the J-20AS is undoubtedly a significant achievement in terms of domestic aerospace manufacturing and systems integration, it remains to be seen whether it will fulfill the roles it has been rhetorically assigned. Its long-term value will depend on factors such as successful integration of advanced engines, maturity of mission systems, availability of supporting technologies, and development of a robust training and tactical framework. Until such components are observed functioning cohesively in a real-world or high-fidelity exercise environment, the aircraft remains better understood as a platform of potential rather than a validated leap in airpower capability.